العالمي وفي مدينة ليفربول علشان نتكلم معاه عن أخبار نجمنا المصري محمد صلاح وهو مستر نيل جونز مستر نيل how are you and welcome on الأهلي channel thanks for having me how are you you okay yes everything is good thank you so much of course uh, uh, we will talk about Mo Salah uh, he's uh, the Egyptian king uh, we all of know and he's the best star now at the moment in Liverpool so at the beginning I want to ask you about the performance of Mo Salah this this season how do you see it well it's been pretty impressive I mean he's, he's already the Premier League leading goal scorer once more and he looks very well placed to uh, retain his, his golden boot he's got his team obviously at the top of the Premier League he's um he's had a change of position a little bit he's, you know he, he played last season more sort of from the right of Liverpool's attack this season, he's been a lot more central, playing as almost a, a main striker. Mm. But it doesn't seem to have um, had too much of an effect on his performances. He seems he's still the main man who carries all the hopes. He scores so many important goals. You think of the goals against Napoli to get Liverpool through in the Champions League, for example. You think of recent goals against the likes of Brighton, Crystal Palace in the last game. He, um, yeah, he's just remarkably consistent and he's, uh, he's been that way ever since he, uh, he walked to the door at Anfield. Okay, I will translate to the audience and I'll be back to you with the second question. سألته في البداية طبعا على محمد صلاح الملك المصري ومن أفضل اللاعبين الموجودين في ليفربول إزاي شايف مستوى الموسم الحالي؟ قال لي محمد صلاح وأهميته في فريق ليفربول الموسم الحالي، أهمية محمد صلاح والدور اللي بيأديه سواء على أطراف الملعب أو في قلب الهجوم كمان قال لي محمد صلاح واحد من اللعيبة اللي بيحرزوا أهداف مهمة جدا وبيكون سبب من الأسباب في فوز ليفربول سواء في مباراة نابولي في الكأس أو في الدوري في آخر مباراة أمام كريستال بالاس لما نجح إنه يكون الأهداف. مستر نيل دو يو إكسبكت ذات محمد صلاح ويل بي ذا توب سكورر أوف ذا إنجلش بريمير ليج ذيس سيزون أور أوبيم يانج ميبي هي ويل سكور مور جولز. Uh, yeah, I think he's in a very good position. I mean, in particular, yes. given the fact that probably the, the, the main contender for that crown, Harry Kane, is out now for another month or so. So there is a chance for, for Mohamed to um, extend his lead at the top of the charts. He's, um, he's also a player that he just has this appetite for scoring goals. And you look at, look at the type of goals he scores, he, he obviously is capable of spectacular, but so many of his goals are scored in classic striker positions where he's appearing just in front of the goal or he's taking penalties or he's scoring, you know, at the back post from crosses. So he's such an um, he's such a prolific player and he and he, he has this real desire to, to be the main man, to be the goal scorer for, for Liverpool, as I'm sure you guys have seen when he plays for the national team in Egypt. You know, he yes. really does thrive on that responsibility. And um, I think that stands him in good stead and stands Liverpool in good stead. And like I say, with, with Kane on the sidelines until March, there's a big chance for him to, uh, to really make that golden boot his own. Yes, yes. Uh, سألته طبعا على فرص محمد صلاح في الفوز بهداف الدوري الانجليزي للمرة الثانية على التوالي. أي فرص محمد صلاح؟ وهل شايف أن ممكن أوبام يانجا تخطى محمد صلاح؟ قال لي محمد صلاح في موقع جيد جدا دلوقتي 16 هدف بيتفوق على أوبام يانج وهاري كين بفارق هدفين كل واحد منهم عنده 14 هدف. قال لي محمد صلاح مركز كويس جدا أنه يحصل على اللقب للمرة الثانية وكمان عنده فرصة كبيرة مع زمايله الحاليين اللي موجودين في ليفربول أنه يحقق الهدف ودايما بيقول محمد صلاح قال لي كلمة مهمة جدا قال لي محمد صلاح عنده الرغبة والشعور الجيد الرغبة الحقيقية في تحقيق أهدافه وتحقيق ذاته. Mr. Neil, at the beginning of the season, all the English fans and all the English journalists said that Mohamed Salah is one season wonder. What do you say about this? Sorry, could you repeat that question? Sorry. All the English fans and English supporters and the English uh, uh, reporters and journalists said that Mohamed Salah or Mo Salah is the one season wonder player. And they judge him at the beginning of the season and now everything changed. I want to hear from you. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I think, I think it was a very, um, a very unfair suggestion anyway, given the fact that Mohamed Salah has already proven himself in Serie A with Roma and already had two pretty productive seasons in Italy um, before he came to Liverpool. So the idea that he was a one-season wonder was, was incorrect. Yes. Just factually, anyway. And I think there was an acceptance 
among Liverpool supporters and probably among Jürgen Klopp as well and, and his teammates that it would be difficult for, for Salah to score as many goals as he did last season. I mean, yes. 44 in all competitions is a remarkable tally. But he's already on 19, which <laughs> until until his, he arrived last season, no Liverpool player uh, under Jürgen Klopp had scored more than 14 in a season, in an entire season. And here we are in January... And Mohamed Salah's already on 19. Mm. So that shows you the level that he's sort of brought Liverpool goal scoring capabilities up. Mm. Um, I, think, I think it's pretty clear from the way that he plays, from the goals that he scores, and the impact he has on the team that he's not a one season wonder. He's a, yes. a top level player. He's here to stay. سألتوا يعني حكم محمد صلاح من الصحافة الإنجليزية والجمهور الإنجليزي بعد الموسم الماضي وبداية الموسم الحالي إن محمد صلاح ما تألقش في البداية زي الموسم الماضي وبالتالي حكموا عليه إنه لاعب الموسم الواحد تعليقك إيه قال لي محمد صلاح مش لاعب موسم واحد الموسم الماضي تألق الموسم الحالي هو هداف الدوري الإنجليزي بيتألق مع ليفربول بيحرز أهداف لكن الأمر أو الوضع اللي موجود في محمد صلاح أكيد بيصعب من عليه المهمة غير الموسم الماضي الموسم الماضي هو ما كانش معروف بالنسبة للمنافسين زي الموسم الحالي وبالتالي محمد صلاح بيرد على كل المنافسين اللي بينتقدوا مستر نيل I know that you are very close from Liverpool and also I want to know me and the whole fans they want to know about the strength of the relationship between Mo Salah and Lovren All right, okay, yes The the greatest friendship in football at the moment, I think, isn't it? They're, they're, um, they're obviously very close. They've yes. great, um, great social media interaction, as we've seen, and obviously they, um, they spend a lot of time in each other's company. If you, if you visit Melbourne, the training ground, you will always see them two together laughing and joking, and you see them on, you know, when they're arriving for games and when they're leaving through the mix zone in, in games at Anfield, they, they're, they're always side by side. Um, and, and it's, it's good, isn't it? It's good. I mean, it, it can't be a bad thing to have a, a good relationship with a teammate oh, like yes. that. I know, obviously, Mohamed's also got a good relationship with people like Sadio Mane yes. as well, who, 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 you know, he shares a, 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 a good relationship on and off the field. But, yeah, Dejan, Dejan Lovren seems to be his... Um, his Mr. Neil, Mr. Neil, all the people, they are seeing a better relationship between Mane and Mohamed Salah inside the field. Is it... Is it correct or just the desire of scoring goals make them a little bit selfish on scoring? Any, any opportunity of them or any chance for Mane and Salah, they prefer the first option to score than to pass. Everyone in Egypt here, they, they, they say that Mane is, is not a good friend of Mohammed Salah because of this reason. Yeah, I mean, I, I, think, I think people do read too much into that kind of thing. Yes, yes. I mean, they're both... But both excellent players who, who want to influence the game, want to score goals. I mean, if you look at, for example, recently against Arsenal, Mohamed Salah um, allowed Roberto Firmino to take a penalty. Yes, to that's to true. Patrick, and this is, this is someone with a desire to score goals himself. So I think the idea that Mohamed Salah or Sadio Mane would not be thinking of the team first is probably a little bit unfair, and I'm sure they would dispute that. But I think... Um, I think it's just good for Liverpool to have two players like that who, who both um, who are both capable of scoring goals, being match winners. But I mean, I think you've seen this season already that they're they're, they're pretty capable of um, of assisting each other in goals as well. So I don't see it as a big issue personally. I know that the two players get on very well away from the field. طيب فلخص لحضراتكم السؤالين اللي سالتهم لنيل جونز في بعض اول سؤال سالته بما انك قريب من فريق ليفربول عايز اعرف مدى العلاقه القويه اللي ما بين محمد صلاح وليفرين قال لي طبعا محمد صلاح تربط علاقه قويه جدا بليفرين داخل وخارج الملعب على السوشيال ميديا في مواقع التواصل الاجتماعي وايضا كمان بره الملعب بيقضوا معظم الاوقات مع بعض وده منذ بدايه فريق او منذ قدوم محمد صلاح لفريق ليفربول ايضا كمان قال لي محمد صلاح مش بس قريب لليفرين ده قريب لساديو ماني وانا قطعت وقلت معظم الجمهور المصري شايف ان في عداوه ما بين ماني ومحمد صلاح بسبب ان احراز محمد صلاح الاهداف والغيره اللي موجوده ما بين ماني ومحمد صلاح قال لي قال لي ده غلط تماما 
الزمن محمد صلاح وماني اصدقاء جدا وكمان لو بنتكلم على الاحراز الاهداف والاولويه والانانيه اللي احنا بنشوفها وممكن حد من جمهور الكره يفتكر ان دي موجوده في عالم كره القدم قال لي ان محمد صلاح ساب ركله جزاء في الوقت اللي كان بينافس فيه على لقب الهداف وفضل ان فيرمينيو يجيب الهدف الثالث ليه والهاتريك في مباراه من احد المباريات Mr. Neil, uh, 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 after this season, do you think that Mohamed Salah or Mo Salah will continue with Liverpool or he can transfer to Spain, maybe for an example to Barcelona or Real Madrid? Um, my personal opinion is I think Mohamed Salah will stay at Liverpool beyond this season. Um, mm -hmm. Obviously, there's so much to play for between now and May that, you know, that Liverpool are, are looking to win the league title. They're obviously still in the Champions League. There is a chance for a an incredibly successful season for Liverpool. Mm. And if they were to achieve, let's say, everything, then maybe there would be a change, you know, a, a, a thought in the players' head. But I think, I think given that he signed a new contract earlier this mm. season, I think he's very appreciative of, of the platform that Liverpool have given him to, to go on a level, even from his Roma, Roma days, where he's, he was a good player. Now he's become a real top European world player. Uh, um, he's got a profile to, to match that now. I think there is an appreciation from Mohamed Salah and, and his camp that Liverpool have been good for him and that also Liverpool give him the possibility to, to win these major tournaments. It's not just that he's scoring goals. He's also now competing for big trophies, the Champions League. Obviously, he, he, it obviously ended in disappointment last season, in particular for Salah, but it was still a chance for him to to reach a Champions League final. He's still got another one of those to come. He's got a chance to, to win the Premier League as well. So I think, for me, I think there will be at least another season after this and hopefully more because English football loves to see players like Mohamed Salah playing in it. And I hope he stays uh, on their side for me to, for me to write about for many years to come. Uh, at the end, if, if Mo Salah receives uh, an, an, an offer from Spain, from Real Madrid, uh, for an example. Do you think that Liverpool, if they, if they find it uh, with a good uh, amount of money to them, for an example, 200 million euros, do you think that Liverpool will let Mo Salah leave to Real Madrid or they will, they will let him and keep him with the team to make uh, more stability and more with uh, coming players next season and with Jurgen Klopp's system inside Liverpool? Well... <laughs> The starters, I think you'd have to be looking at a much higher price than 200 million euros given, given the money that other players uh, will be going for. I think you're, you're looking at Mohamed Salah as being Liverpool's biggest asset. Um, so would 200 million euros, incredibly, would that be enough? Probably not. But mm. Liverpool showed and Jürgen Klopp showed with Felipe Coutinho that if they feel that the player, mm. it will become a problem to keep him when he doesn't want to stay then they are willing to look for alternative solutions. Mm. So far, Salah has shown no problem that, you know, no desire to leave the floor. Of course, mm. that can change when an offer arrives. But until that arrives, I, I, it's impossible to say. And also, you have to ask, you know, are Real Madrid in a position where they're going to go and spend 250 million, 300 million on, on a single player when they have so many other problems mm. at their club to, to sort out? They have a defence to fix, they have a midfield to fix. Mm. They have an attack to fix. It's it's a, it's a huge um, it's it's a lot of a lot of uncertainties around that. But for, for now, I think we can safely say that Mohamed Salah is happy. He's enjoying his mm. football, and he's very settled at Liverpool and and, and in England. Mr. Neil John, thank you so much for being with us on the Ahly Channel. Da kan telefon min Neil John sahafi bi mawqa gol. العالمي وفي مدينة ليفربول آخر سؤال سألته آخر الموسم هل تتوقع انتقال محمد صلاح خارج فريق ليفربول قال لي محمد صلاح في الوقت الحالي هو سعيد وأن بيتم تقدير محمد صلاح ماديا ومعنويا بشكل جيد جدا قلت له طب لو جيم 10 مليون يورو لمحمد صلاح من فريق زي ريال مدريد على سبيل المثال ممكن من فريق ليفربول يسيبه قال لي 200 مليون بالنسبه لليفربول ممكن ما يكونش مبلغ كافي لكن لو عمل زي كوتينيو والامر ده اكيد محمد صلاح مش هيعمله انه 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 يعلن على عصيان على فريق ليفربول ممكن ليفربول يسيبه لكن محمد صلاح قال لي في الاخر ما عندوش اي نيه لرحيل عن فريق ليفربول هنكمل